subscriber friends. Welcome to Angora Academy by Eden's Angora. Today I wanted to do a really simple video on uh, basic grooming tools that you'll need for your Angora rabbit. So I have this array of grooming tools and I'm going to pick each one up and explain to you what it is, how you can use it, why you need it. Um, the one tool that I'm really sad is missing is my set of baby sewing scissors. I just tore the house apart before this video to try to find them. I don't know where they are. That probably means they're out with the rabbits because I use them so often. So just imagine a baby set of sewing scissors right there. Let's get right into it. This is my favorite comb set. You can get it at Tractor Supply. I have no idea what brand it is, but it comes with these handy dandy little nail clippers. I believe it's a cat grooming set. You'll need a set of nail clippers, so it works perfectly to get this comb set. Now, the flea comb is basically useless. It's too fine for the wool, but it is worth paying the $7. I think that's what I paid for it for the set for this little beauty right here. This is my best friend. It just fits in my hands so nice. I love, love, love grooming with it. it. Makes it such a relaxing experience. If you can't find this set where you live, don't despair. I have with me three other metal combs that I use all the time. You may prefer one with a handle like this or you may want one that rests more in your hand. I use it like this when I am brushing. Anything that is fine, but not too fine. I like this one because it kind of tapers. You can use the fine end um, for some areas of the rabbit, and then this wider side works better for combing the primary layers of the prime coat. Okay, so basically, one, you need nail clippers. Two, you need a metal comb, whether that be one of these or this set right here. The next thing you'll need are scissors. I like to go with a little bit of a blunt tip um, just for my own peace of mind. And really any sharp shear will do. I like to keep one that's longer and one that's shorter, and then preferably my tiny sewing scissors. I love those for mats, um, when they occasionally happen behind the rabbit's ear, things like that. So, one, you need nail clippers, two, a comb, and three, probably several sets of shears. The last thing I recommend is this set of clippers by Gimars. You can get them on Amazon. They're cordless. I love that they don't get, the cord doesn't get in the way. I'm not worried about the rabbits chewing it. It's rechargeable. It's wonderful. It's about $30. So you can't really go wrong with it. And it cuts better than my $250 Andes shears. So whether you're in English or you're in German. Occasionally I will clip my French too. They're great for clipping down moms on their bellies before they give birth. Just a really handy thing to have around. Now we're gonna move to the last things I have on the table. Do not get these to groom your rabbit. I don't care if it's a slicker without any balls on the end to protect the rabbit. Obviously you're gonna stay away from this, but this is not good either. If you brush the surface of the coat, not only are you not gonna reach all the way down through the layers of the thick wool, but these kind of brushes cause skin damage to rabbits. Rabbits have tissue paper like skin. You do not wanna be combing even straight down on that skin. We need to respect our rabbits in that way. Second, these kind of brushes called what are known as neps in your fiber. It actually tears the microscopic makeup of the fiber. 
the microscopic layers of your fiber will get kind of frayed. If you picture your fiber like this and you're combing it and it's roughing up the edges of the fiber and it'll cause those edges to come together and you'll get, guess what, mats, which is exactly why you're brushing your rabbit to prevent mats. So get these off the table. We don't need those, all right? Let's stick to the basics. You will need these few tools. They're inexpensive, they're easy to find, and they will make your life owning an Angora a pleasure. It was my pleasure to make this video for you, and I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if it was helpful. Have an awesome day. Bye.